Hello and welcome to yet another exciting course in the AP Guider series. My name is Wilfred Ungwa. In this course, we shall be learning how to convert paper-based data to electronic data using a very powerful software known as AP Data. This video is intended to give you an overview of this course. So let's get started. AP Data, as defined by Wikipedia, is a group of applications used in combination for creating documented data structures and analysis of quantitative data. Just as a reminder, quantitative data is the type of data whose value is measured in the form of numbers or counts, with a unique numerical value associated with each data set. A brief history of the AP Data software would do us no harm. The initiative to make AP data was taken by Dr. James M. Lauritsen from Denmark to address some of the shortcomings of AP Info 6, which is another very good data entry and analysis software. Towards the end of 1999, Dr. Jens, in collaboration with Mark Miet and Michael Bruce, formed an association of persons who developed the software. AP data was developed using a programming language known as Pascal and Michael Bruce is the skilled Pascal programmer doing the actual programming. So why AP data? There are many reasons why you should have AP data added to your list of data manipulation software. I will discuss a few of them. One, the AP data software is an open access software available for download at www.apdata.dk. What this means is that the software is completely free for use, teaching, sharing, and what have you. Two, the software does not interfere with operating systems once installed. It is an independent application which will not interfere with or require any special database system drivers shared with it. It also will not interfere with other applications. Three, the software is very stable, which means it rarely crashes. And even if it does, you will rarely lose your data. Four, the software makes data entry easy and rapid with no mouse required. Five, you can design your data capture forms in a way that ensures data quality during entry. AP Data is one of the software where you can easily ensure double data entry. 6. With AP Data, you can password protect your files with confidential information. 7. There is a great online support available where you can ask questions and get quality feedback. Lastly, the software is very small. The file types produced by the software are quite small in size as well and this makes sharing them very easy. Convinced AP Data is the way to go? Let me have some feedback in the comments section. The main purpose of this course is to show participants how to convert paper-based data, which could be in the form of questionnaires, patient files, etc., into electronic data in an efficient, quality-assured manner. The better quality of data we have, the easier the data analysis process, and most importantly, the more reliable our results will be. Think of it as garbage in, garbage out. More specifically, we will be looking at 1. How to create a data documentation sheet, sometimes known as a data dictionary, codebook, data entry guide, etc. 2. How to configure or create a data capture form using AP Data. 3. How to perform basic statistical analysis using AP Data. Not forgetting how to present the analyzed data. In one of his presentations, Dr. A.J. Kumar describes data entry as the Cinderella of research methods as it is the most neglected. I would like to add here that, in my many years of practice, I have seen this disregard for data entry not only experienced in research, but in routine monitoring and evaluation systems as well. 
As a result, not many people are skilled with the key concepts of data entry and quality. At the end of this course, you will definitely be one of the skilled ones. Secondly, not very many tools are available for converting paper-based data to electronic data that has the kind of functionality that comes with AP data. Thirdly, this course, like most of my courses, make use of a real-life project which I am humble to walk you through. Lastly, learning a new ski always takes you a few steps higher on the job opportunity ladder. Apart from your commitment to learn a new skill, there are no specific human requirements. However, you need a computer and internet connection to download the software and to follow the course. You can use the skills gained in this course coupled with formal training to work as an epidemiologist, a data manager, a data analyst, a monitoring and evaluation advisor, a data encoder, a data scientist, and lots more. I am at the end of my presentation. Next week, we'll be getting started with EpiData proper. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the EpiGuider channel. Remember to keep in touch using the contact details displayed on the screen. Thanks for your time and bye-bye.